Howdy, Vita, and I started in 1935 with Paul Terry, mm -hmm. Terry Tunes, and uh, I like to paint, so he put me in the background department, then tried to get me to do some in-betweens, mm -hmm. but the light used to bother my eyes. I just, I'm a painter, so I stayed with background, mm -hmm. so I've been doing that for about 50 years. Uh -huh. What studios have you worked at? Well, those 50? Uh, uh, see, let's see, I started with Terry Tunes in the '35, and I worked there right up until uh, right up until uh, '40 when uh, I got a little interruption there. I won my first raffle. They picked my number out of the Goldfish mm -hmm. Bowl in Washington. One five eight was a good number, and I was drafted, and, and I was in the service for about just about five years. I was one of the last guys out, and uh, when I come out, I. I worked with various commercial studios mm -hmm. right up until 1950, and then, and I was out of work for about maybe two years out of the animation because I had gotten wounded in my right arm. I couldn't use it, so I did the photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I joined Bill Stern Studios and became a partner there, where we, we worked commercial work for about 14 years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it was just back and forth until finally I decided that I needed a vacation. I met a guy like Ralph Bakshi, mm -hmm. and uh, and he thought I I knew how to do that type of work, backgrounds, and so he I latched on. He latched on to me, I think, and we worked for uh, all his all his features. I think about mm -hmm. seven of them: Fritz the Cat, Heavy Traffic. Uh, what was it? Hey, good looking. Mm -hmm. uh, wizards, coonskin, uh, Lord of the Rings, and I think I painted for Bakshi about nine. I would say nine hundred backgrounds for each picture. So I did a lot of really? backgrounds. Really? Yeah. That were that was yeah. the backgrounds. Yeah. Then. You were the background. And I, I, I painted. I, I the, 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 a different layout men, but. Uh, most of the painting I did. A lot of the range, there was a lot of help there. It must have been about six or seven background artists, but I still did about 900 paintings there. And then I decided he was going to work on fire and ice, and I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. I was getting tired of uh, making backgrounds for someone else. So I decided to go back to Porchester, New mm -hmm. York, because I was commuting from mm -hmm. New York to California. A couple of months here, three weeks back to New York. And my family wanted me back, so I latched onto a big uh, loft about 3,000 square feet, the factory where my mother worked, mm -hmm. the shirt factory there. And I uh, started to paint a uh, chronicle of Porchester, New York. Mm -hmm. If you know Hopper, his type of painting, that's, mm -hmm. right. and that's what I'm doing. And I had a, one big show that was very successful, and then every once in a while I have to pay the rent. You know? So like, guys like Jack Zander, mm -hmm. then he, he calls me for a little bit of a help in some of his commercials. And that's way I worked for about two or three weeks and paid a rent and then go back to painting again. I see. I'm having a, a hell of a time, you know. Uh, what were the best thing or the best thing about the animation for you, the animation field? Uh, the best, the animation, it's, it, I, I loved it. I, I made, a, uh, made a living out of it. I enjoyed it. I made a lot of good friends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I still like the people that it's, uh, still around. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it very much. Any one story you'd like to leave us with? Okay. Oh, yeah, when I, first, when I first got fresh out of high school, I went to Terry Toons at the big Porchester High School. I think I was a big baseball player. And I met Joe Barbera was working there. He'd mm -hmm. come out of the bank somewhere. He had a short spin scoop. He was with a skinny black tie dapper guy. And he walked around with those Cuban heels. You know. And uh, I met him, and I met uh, Bill Tytler had come back mm -hmm. to Terry Toons, and Terry Toons for a little while. You know, Dan Gordon, Jack Gordon, and there's some, there's some big names that were Canadas and Eisenberg, and uh, Jerry Shields, and all these fellas that came about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like a, a kid that was an altar boy in mm -hmm. church, and uh, just out of high school. With the PC, you know. mm -hmm. They also had to go now for a, a drink, I thought Coca-Cola, you know. Mm -hmm. That was my first day, the very first day I worked. I followed them down seven flights of stairs. And they went in and they had boilermakers. Mm -hmm. 
I fell flat on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, the, I always remember that, that one yeah. story. I never got back to work and I thought I quit, but I, I just passed out. Mm. That's it. That was your introduction to yep. yeah. Well, thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Vita. Thank you. Yeah.